Hello again, this is the second video to the Alesis DM10 modification uh, and I say the playing around that I've been doing I'm going on a bit of an adventure to be honest uh, with me never using um, PCs to you can see that to run programs like Easy Drummer via USB and all different triggers and uh, all types of different things so um, I used to have a, a Roland um, HD1 V drums which was basic I say it's only quite a small room this with guitars and Xboxes and Line 6 and um, I say I'm cramming too much into this room but um, to be honest um, it didn't really do what I wanted it to I did put a video on there because I didn't like the, the actual triggers for the feet pedals um, on the HD one so I made myself a drum trigger um, but I had to upgrade this is absolutely fantastic I got it second hand on eBay it's about 8 month old this paid 500 quid for it perhaps a bit more than what some of the, the ones on eBay were going for but uh, it was a local one in Mansfield um, I see at the moment I want to rush this because it's snowing in, a, in Sheffield at the moment in England so I want to get out and play with that but absolutely fantastic only thing I didn't like if I had to pick up on it is the Mylar heads I know there's, there'll be a painting on um, on the V drums um, with the mesh heads they've got but I say the upgrade you can do with the mesh heads messing about but you've already seen my video on that um, I want to show you one two things on uh, the sound module what I've done to be able to connect it to Easy Drummer uh, by all means use that uh, it's quite good, there's quite a few good sounds uh, in the sound module for the Lisa DM10 but um, it's far superior the sounds on, on Easy Drummer and I've just started recording uh, with my band um, in this small room believe it or not that's why my guitarist Line 6 is down there and I've taken the drums straight from uh, DM10 there's one or two problems with the Easy Drummer because, um, well, if I can just show you, if I hit the ride cymbal, you can hear that or not, if you hit it too hard, you start to get a hi-hat. Now, I've not found a way to get around that yet. You have to send signals from the sound module to the laptop um, so it knows which trigger you want to play. And I'll show you how to do that quickly without waffling on because I've been on for 2 minutes 25 now. Now the first thing um, I had a problem with, when I tried to put the USB cable from the back of the DM10 into the laptop, it wasn't recognising the DM10 at all. Now I tried to go through thousands and thousands, well no, hundreds should I say, tens of um, different um, forums and websites and so on to try and find the problem for this. What you've got to do, start, type in device manager down the bottom, you can see that, device manager, hit enter and that brings, that's Lady Bower Dams if anyone's interested in that picture, I'm sure you know, but device uh, manager opens and you get a list here, now I'm no computer whiz, but down at the bottom the USB or universal serial bus controllers, if you were uh, you maximise that, those are all the USBs that your computer will be running off, so yours will have different numbers to what mine uh, have. But these first ones that say Intel R, how many is there? There's about two, four, six, eight, eight of them. Um, right click the mouse on that and go to uninstall. Right, uninstall those eight on there. Now, switch your computer off. Uh, when you log it back on, it'll try and find the drivers. Um, for those, it'll not cause any damage. I was a bit dubious at first, but it won't cause any any damage. Then when you plug your DM10 in, it does recognise it. Because without it, it's pretty useless. Now to use Easy Drummer, you need something called a VST. Don't ask what it stands for, because I've been in. We're doing this for about two weeks. Um, I'm sure you can find out. Because um, buying Easy Drummer on its own, um, it, it won't work. You need this VST uh, drummer. Now I've got it through Tune Tracks, and it's one called Solo. It's only basic, but it works quite well. And the kits I've got with an easy drummer is this rock pop kit and drum kit from hell. Now to be honest, this rock pop kit is really good. Really snappy snare. Now on your kit, what you'll have to do, first off, scroll with your wheel. All right, I went to 100. And start yourself a new kit uh, for the settings and the, the triggers you want to be sent obviously from your kit to your laptop to be able to trigger because I can say that symbol 
there. Well, you can click on there and change the sim symbol. All right, savings HHXs and some really nice symbols on there. But I can assign that to play whichever trigger I want. So, if I can remember now how to do this, if you press Utility and MIDI, right, it's not that one, Utility, sorry, and Trigger. Utility and Trigger. So, Trigger Sensor, now this Hi-Hat uh, hi Note Only, I find if you have that Note Only, it works quite, quite well. Right, so I'm pressing the pedal there. If you go to up on there, sorry, down, and go to CC4, it's constantly open. So make sure that's no only. Hi at splash, obviously, when you're pressing your, your hi at down, it'll often make it splash. But if you go to scent on this, listen to the sound it makes on this, it should make like a splash symbol. All this is coming from the PC, by the way, through the laptop. So make sure that is on, not sent. You can't have a splash in there, but you don't need that much. And the symbol choke as well. Go to that, not sent, because on the DM10, obviously you've got a little trigger inside there that you can mute it. If that goes to sent, it's kind of squeezing that, and you get a bass drum for some reason. So simple things, I think superior drummer, obviously a lot more expensive, that is superior, more superior. Um, make sure that's sent as well. Um, other things you can do as well, to change, I should have to do it, to change, if I hit the snare to get a different sound or different symbols from my kit onto there, what you have to do is go to, ins sorry, let's go that again, you go to, on here, instrument there, then MIDI. Then it brings this page up, and obviously you, by going up and down, these here, that will change, until it focused, that will change whatever you want. So if I went to, I don't know, um, Tom HD1, um, that's at the moment, MIDI note, uh, 48C2. Now, if I just go down to that, if I can remember it's on 48, I've got a memory like a sieve, start hitting that. Right, if I start changing that up to, I don't know, 58, get the same one there, I'm starting to get a symbol. So that's how you change, it's got to be sent from the sound module to the PC. That's where I struggled first, I didn't know to do that, but hopefully this will help you guys. So 48, I think it was, yeah. Sounds cool. Now I'm just going to put drum kit from, uh, from hell on. To rock and pop up here, just like that. Drum kit from hell takes a while to load. I'm gonna plug my iRig, I'm gonna play my guitar, I'm gonna plug that into the phone now. That's going into the, the, the laptop, and you can have a quick uh, hear at some of the sounds and see if I can make a fool of myself playing these drums.